What's up hydroponic faces? This is John Indoor Hydroponics back inside my grow room October 2014. Hey, it's time to get uh, growing inside. The weather's cooling off. All my outdoor gardens are done so. So I need to get some seeds started here and I've tried two times so far to get some seeds started and that hasn't worked out very well at all. Okay, I had some leftover peat moss, some leftover cow manure and I mixed it up and uh, the seedlings did not come out very well so I'm gonna get a late start on the indoor grow this year I'm gonna go with old reliable okay so I guess the point of this video is to get some seeds started show you some varieties kind of thing stuff we're gonna be growing inside this little makeshift grow room uh, we'll get to more of what this grow room looks like uh, if you missed my first season which was absolutely horrible when I go back and look at the videos Lots of ums and oohs and ooh and just droning on. But we'll get into the lights. We'll get into the construction of this thing. It's an 8 by 7 grow room. It's about uh, 7 feet tall. So, but what I really want to talk about really is seeds, okay? So, um, I could have started my seeds out in a number of different ways. Uh, like I say, you can make your own mix. You can buy seed starting mix. You can buy Jiffy Pots, so those little Jiffy uh, peat things you put some water in they swell up type of thing and those are cool in fact I started my bell peppers out this year with those um, you can get by the uh, rooting cubes uh, from the hydroponic store which are cool um, but you know what one of my favorite ways of starting seeds whether it's growing hydroponically or even in the dirt because they can be transferred into the dirt are grow cubes okay and they're rock wool grow cubes and uh, rock wool is a, a fantastic media in in that it holds a lot of water okay so it stays moist a long time uh, you don't have to uh, water it very much okay uh, the only drawback with the grow cube is that it's uh, alkaline by nature so you have to bring the pH down when you're soaking these things so you buy them you soak them in some water for a few minutes half hour whatever uh, but you want to bring the pH down in here, okay, because high alkalinity and seed starting is not a good mix. So you want to bring your acid down. How do I do that? I, I cut up half a lemon, threw it in here, let it soak, good to go. Second thing I need to do for my uh, seed starting is I need to have some sort of a humidity dome, okay. I need something to keep the moisture in so that the seeds remain moist while, while they're uh, germinating, sprouting up. And so you can use anything for this. I mean, you can buy, go out and buy a, a dome and all the fancy works from the hydroponic store or garden store. Nyeh. I have an, uh, a cake container, okay? You go to the grocery store, you get a cake type of thing. We ate the cake. It was fantastic. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put the grow cubes in here. I'm going to plan out, put the top on. Boom, humidity dome. As soon as the uh, seedlings break surface, they hit the lights, you can take the dome off and just make sure that the grow cubes remain uh, moist, which, you know, it depends on how warm your grow room is. But, I mean, every couple of days, just give it a little bit of water and the grow cubes will be fantastic. So, um, let's get into talking about some of the varieties that I'm going to be growing. What am I going to grow this year in my grow room? Okay. Um, I'm going to grow tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and of course lettuce, which is the absolute easiest thing in the world to grow hydroponically. It's like you can't really do it wrong, okay? So today I'm going to plant out some uh, tomatoes and I'm going to start some lettuce. This year I'm going to do more of a video log kind of uh, experiment with my videos, okay? So this will probably be one of the last videos where I'm actually talking to you in the, the, into the camera. Uh, but I think the, the getting starting videos type of thing, I'm going to talk into the camera and then as we wa watch the progress of the grows, it's going to be more of a narrated video log, okay? So um, you won't be able to see my, my beautiful face in most of the uh, future videos. Regardless, let's talk. I'm going to grow three types of tomatoes this year. I've got one of my favorites, in fact, my favorite tomato that I grew in the outdoor garden last year was 
Cherokee Purple. Okay, so I bought a packet of Cherokee Purple. I'm going to see how they do in here. More importantly, I'm going to see if I can get a one pound Cherokee Purple tomato this winter inside my grow room. So that's going to be goal number one. Pow! Secondly, I'm going to try what's uh, called an Abe Lincoln. Never grown this one before. Uh, medium sized red tomato. Um, so I'm going to give that a shot. Abe Lincoln. Pow! Lastly, I gotta grow a cherry tomato, okay? So, uh, I, what did I get? I got a Burpee Super Sweet 100 Hybrid. Gonna try that. This thing has like this thermonuclear thing of tomatoes just coming down like 100 per, uh, per cluster. If I get that inside here, man, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna take a lot of pollination. I already see that coming, uh, coming up. Gonna be a lot of that electric toothbrush thing going brrrr type of stuff. So, interesting. So, if you notice, I have a large tomato, medium tomato, and a cherry tomato. So, large, medium, small, uh, probably different maturity dates, things of that nature. Lastly, last year I did a lettuce of the month uh, grow type of a scenario thing going on. And I like that. So, I'm going to grow all new different types of lettuces this year. So I'm going to grow this lettuce, and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I'm just going to plant it out because that would kind of ruin my lettuce of the month theme type of thing. So I'm going to grow a new lettuce every single month, cycle it off. So uh, between now and the spring, I should have, what, four or five different types of lettuces. I'll let you know what I think of it. Uh, I had four or five different lettuces last year, um, and they were all pretty phenomenal. So, got some seeds. You can't see that one. Uh, got some tomatoes. Got my grow cube soaking, or my rock wool cube soaking. Got me a humidity dome. Last thing that I need for my seedlings is a seedling heat mat. Okay. Now I'm not gonna put my lettuce on here, but I, what I am gonna put on here are my warm weather vegetables: tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. Okay, because they like the warmth of summer. They are warm weathered uh, vegetables. Okay, so. Uh, they need a little bit of heat uh, to uh, germinate, and it also makes germination go a whole lot faster. So get yourself a little seedling mat if you don't already have one. I have multiple ones, okay? I'm not going to put the lettuce on here because lettuce is a cool season crop, and it does not need this heat, okay? It doesn't need the heat of this mat. So let's get to planting. What do we got here? This is a very, very, very simple process, okay? When you get yourself these uh, grow cubes, and if you've already used these, uh, you probably know how fantastic they are. You get yourself a grow cube like this, you pop it in here, and they've got a little hole in the middle of it, right? And obviously that's where you plant your seeds. So let's start off with Mr. Cherokee Purple here. And of course, I'm not going to take an entire video of planting these seeds because I know that's just unbearably boring. But what I am going to do is plant out uh, two tomato plant or two seeds per cube in case one doesn't germinate. And if both do germinate, you let them grow a little while. You take the strongest seedling and you snip the other one off. Good to go. Okay. So I am going to plant these babies out. And I'll see you in a second. All right, peeps, I'm all planted out. Everything's on the uh, seedling mat. In addition to this, I already have some seedlings started in, in terms of peppers, okay? I've got four peppers, three varieties. Uh, they're doing okay. These I did start, I may sound like I'm contradicting myself, but these I did start in peat pellets. Um, and so I don't know if you can see the seedling in there. there again, there's four varieties. I filled these up with a, a potting medium that I'm going to talk about a little later, okay? And I'm going to dedicate an entire episode just to uh, potting media. Um, we need to talk about how I'm going to grow these this year. I'm going to do them different than I did last year. So it's going to be kind of an experimental thing going on. Um, so I got lots of stuff going on, okay? So I got these going. Now these take longer, way longer to get started than cucumbers. So I'm going to offset the cucumbers by about three weeks, okay? So 
Right now I have these, and about three weeks from now I'm going to do my cucumber uh, seedlings, but I'm going to probably start them out in the Rockwell cubes, okay? So uh, this thing, I'm looking forward to getting some greenery growing around in here, but it's going to take a while, okay? It's only October. I mean, really starting off so late, and I didn't do cuttings, I'm doing seeds. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of uh, getting actual tomatoes? Probably mid-January to February, I think, if all goes really well, okay? Uh, we also want to talk about lighting schedules and feedings and things of that nature, so uh, lots to get going, but this is just getting the seed started. It took a few minutes is all it took. It's on this. Um, I'm going to have them under lights for about 18 hours on and uh, whatever the difference off is. Six hours, right? Because there's 24 in a day type of thing. So getting started, rock wool. If you've never tried it, go to your hydro shop, get them. They're awesome, okay? Just remember to bring the pH down on them. And uh, guys, uh, let's come back in about two weeks type of thing. Let's see how these things are growing. Hopefully I've got good sprouts going on here. And in about two weeks, lettuce is typically ready for transplant into whatever I'm going to plant it in. Come back and check it out, okay? Thanks, guys, for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a sub. Do that type of stuff, okay? But it's good to see you guys again. It's good to be back in the grow room. Hey, man. See you guys later. Bye.